Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Understanding VNA's Segmented Sweeps. In this short presentation, we'll explain what segmented sweeps are and how they can be used to improve VNA measurement speed and accuracy. Most measurements made with vector network analyzers involve sweeping power over a user-defined frequency range and simultaneously measuring the amount of reflected power and or power appearing at other ports on the device under test. This sweep is actually a set of measurements made at discrete points, which are then often displayed as a continuous line or trace. Typically, the sweep or trace points are all equally spaced over the frequency range and are all measured using the same settings, such as power, IF bandwidth, etc. Because the points are evenly spaced, these kinds of sweeps are sometimes called linear frequency sweeps. The greatest advantage of these types of sweeps is that they are very easy to configure. But as we'll see in just a few moments, this type of sweep may be suboptimal for some measurement applications. Many VNAs can, however, divide the sweep range into multiple subranges or segments. Segments are smaller frequency ranges within the total frequency range. Each segment has its own measurement parameters, meaning that the start and stop frequency, number and spacing of points, bandwidth, power, etc., can be set differently for each segment. Using segments can increase measurement speed, provide greater accuracy or resolution, and can be used to optimize dynamic range. As shown in this example, more closely spaced points can be used to provide greater resolution for the more interesting parts of a trace, such as the passband of a filter. And fewer points can be configured for less interesting regions in order to reduce overall measurement time. Filter measurements are, in fact, one of the most common applications of segmented sweeps. As we mentioned on the last slide, a segmented sweep could be used to obtain higher resolution in a filter passband, for example, when measuring passband ripple. A narrower IF could be used in the stop bands for reducing noise and thereby enable more accurate measurement of out-of-band rejection. Another application of segmented sweep is antenna measurements. Here again, segmented sweep can provide better accuracy near the antenna's resonant frequency and faster sweeping over ranges where the antenna is not resonant. A third application is when making multi-frequency or multi-band measurements. Segmented sweep is helpful in this case because it can be used to skip frequencies between the frequency ranges of interest. One example of this is a multi-band amplifier intended for use in multiple but non-contiguous frequency ranges. Another example would be measurements made on a diplexer, which combines signals at different frequencies. Segmented sweep is normally configured by means of a table, where each segment has its own independent start and stop frequencies, step size slash number of points, and IF bandwidth. Other parameters, such as selectivity, power, etc., can also be defined per segment. Tables are either manually configured through the VNA user interface or are imported in the form of a text or CSV file. And, as with other VNA measurements, an appropriate calibration should be performed after these segments and their parameters have been defined. Let's compare a linear and a segmented sweep. In this example, we want to measure the passband of this filter with a 100 kHz step size and an IF bandwidth of 10 kHz. In a linear sweep, these parameters would apply to the entire sweep, and the resulting sweep time would be 543 milliseconds. We could, however, create a sweep with three segments, in which the step size outside of the passband is increased to 1.5 MHz, and the IF bandwidth is set to 100 kHz. In this case, the total sweep time is only 113 milliseconds. So in this example, the segmented sweep is almost five times faster, with no loss of accuracy or resolution in the passband region of our filter. Let's end with a brief summary. Vector network analyzers measure at discrete points 
over a defined frequency range, and the set of these points is commonly referred to as a sweep. By default, the points in a sweep are equally spaced, and all points are measured with the same settings. In a segmented sweep, the frequency range is divided into subranges or segments, each of which has its own independently configurable parameters, such as the number of points or step size, IF bandwidth, power, etc. Segmented sweeps are used in a wide variety of applications, and their advantages include shorter measurement times, improved accuracy or resolution, and optimization of dynamic range. This concludes our presentation, Understanding VNAs, Segmented Sweeps. If you'd like to learn more about VNAs, VNA measurements, or vector network analyzers from Rodi and Schwartz, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit us at rodi-schwartz.com.